My name is Frank Christensen, and I'm the coordinator of officials for IFAF in Europe. This is the bullet training tape for deep wings on punts on crews of seven or eight. Now keep in mind, this is the baseline. So it's up to you to add your own personal flavor to add bullets to these lists. And with that said, I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you find it useful. So one thing we can be sure of is that uh, if we're going to get into trouble, it will happen on a on a kick play, and punts certainly apply or or uh, qualify as that. So uh, first thing we have to do, bullet number one, there is count team B, and make sure you count several times because they have a tendency to hide those players. So even though you get 11 first time, it's not necessarily um, automatic that you're going to get 11 on the second try so count team B several times get into position as a, as a deep wing in a in a crew of seven or eight uh, typically we're flat lining with the back judge so that we can keep everything in front of us and then you know notice uh, the jersey color of team B just so that we know you know once once the ball is rolling around on the ground and players are running in and out and, uh, and you know it, it, it becomes chaos uh, it's nice to be able to know, okay, if black jersey touched it, that means it was one of the return team. And if white team touches it, it was a, it was a kicking team player. So, and now we're just kind of waiting for the snap, or, or, or more precisely, we're waiting for the kick. And here comes the snap, and here comes the kick. Now, right now, we should be able to tell from where the ball is right now, where it is, you know, which direction it's going and which vicinity it's going to land in. We're not going to be uh, super precise, but at least now we should know, is it coming towards me? Is it going away from me? Is it a short or a long or deep kick? So we want to see the direction of the kick. And then we are uh, zooming in on our key. So for each of the deep wings, we have uh, a couple of players here, the head hunter or the gunner or whatever you want to call him. Uh, and his opponent. So we want to make sure that we know everything that's happening with those two players. Uh, and then once the return starts, um, we do want to cover the runner, but just as importantly, we want to cover uh, blocks in front of the runner. So for example, for the side judge here, uh, you should know, uh, have an opinion on, on the legality of, of that block that just happened right there. Uh, so uh, we do want to know what happens to the runner, but not very much uh, can happen to the runner. So we also want to have a look at blocks in front of the play. Uh, and then, of course, we're in, in charge of uh, forward progress. So for the field, uh, for the side judge over there, uh, get the out-of-bound spot after the play is over. Um, not super important, but but uh, uh, we also want to know what happens, you know, around the around the play. And now the play is over. So we're stopping the clock. You know, that's automatic. As soon as the play's over, we stop the clock regardless of, of what happens. Now we're into dead ball coverage. And uh, and, and we do want to pinch also now for the side judge. Uh, that doesn't really apply since the ball died uh, out of bounds on your sideline. For the field judge here, we do want to pinch a little bit um, just to get into that habit here. He's He may be a little bit uh, lazy, uh, but it does, you know, the play is all the way over on the other side, but it's just a good habit to get into, to pinch a little bit, and now it's just a matter of, of getting the ball in and uh, getting ready for the next play. Different punt here, but the same principle applies, obviously, we want to uh, we don't use the same bullet, so we're counting Team B uh, a number of times just to double check that we got it right. We get into position as a deep wing on a large crew. We want to flat line with the back judge, and we want to know uh, the the color and and ideally also the number of the punt returner's jersey, so that once uh, once chaos and mayhem ensues, uh, we know which team touched the ball when, and it's just nice to know that that. Our, our team, so to speak, is, is black and the kicking team is, is white. Uh, and now we're just 
waiting for the for the kick or, or more precisely uh, for the snap or more precisely the the kick and we're going to get a snap here we go and here the ball is kicked uh, and again we want to see the direction of the kick uh, initially but while the ball is in the air we're not going to follow the ball um, uh, rather, we're going to follow our key, and for each of the deep wings, they have a nice couple there that they can follow, and we want to know everything that goes on there, um, legality of blocks and whatever uh, they may uh, may do. And then once the return starts, which is thus right there, now we're responsible for the runner, but also uh, the block. So we want to know what happens on blocks. Uh, especially if the ball comes to to your side if your backside then you can uh, focus even more on blocks uh, and then we we want to get a good progress spot which they also do here and once the play ends they're already doing it we're stopping the clock after every kick we stop the clock uh, we're now into dead ball coverage uh, making sure that the players separate and then we want to pinch a little bit which both officials do well here um, and we're now ready to hand over the, uh, the progress spot to the wings and we can get ready for the next play.